Welcome, my name is Leanne. I'm gonna guide you through this gentle yoga practice today. So this practice actually starts standing up and then we'll work our way down to our mat. So come to an easy standing position. You've got bare feet and you can just have your feet underneath your hips. You can take a look at your feet, make sure that they're sort of parallel to each other. They're in the same line with each other. You can wiggle your toes, wiggle your feet a little bit just to have the feeling of your feet on your mat and that surface that you're standing on. Then just let your feet settle. Okay, they're easy and they're not gripping the mat. They're just soft. Okay, we've got knees that are not locked, so they're just easy. Hopefully our thigh bones are parallel. Pelvis resting right on top of those thigh bones. Neutral pelvis, come on up through your back. So spine tall, crown of the head floating up towards the ceiling. Eyes soft, jaw relaxed. Okay, arms can just rest at your sides. Just feel this. So you're welcome to close your eyes if you feel steady. Okay, if you'd rather keep eyes open, just let them rest softly on something on the ground a little bit in front of you. Right, and feel into your own steadiness. Okay. Doing our best not to hold or to brace. So letting our structure support us so that our body has a little bit more ease. We can feel the connection to the floor. We can feel ourselves standing tall. So there's a sense of steadiness of ease in us. And then within this shape, could you also notice your breath? And perhaps it could also feel steady and easy, right? So there's a gentle breath in through the nose and out through the nose, no rush. And we're just, we're just standing, we're standing still, steady, at ease. Right? The body gets to settle, the breath gets to be present, and maybe the mind then also can settle more into the body, onto the breath. One up into your shoulders, let your fingertips come up to your shoulders and just begin to give your shoulders a roll. Okay, so we're rolling out through the shoulders, forwards, backwards. Okay, let your elbows come on up so they're pointing to the walls beside you. Then let the elbows come in as close as they can in front and let the elbows come wide. So elbows coming in and elbows opening up. One more time. Elbows move together and then they open. Okay, relax the arms down. If you can, slide your feet right next to each other now. Your feet are touching. If that feels a little tippy, keep your feet a little bit wide. Okay, take the right arm, let it lift up towards the ceiling so you can stretch up here and then we'll tip to the left. So left arm could reach down the body. You can reach long through that right arm and keep the elbow straight, or maybe you wanna bend the elbow and let the, left, the right hand find the head. Okay, we'll come back up. So come back up to where you started. Let the right arm come down. Weight is back and even in your feet. Left arm lifts, reaches up, tips to the right side. So let the right hand travel down your right leg. And you can extend through that left elbow, or you could try bending the left elbow. And then come on back up to vertical. Let your arm come down. Okay, slide your feet back that little distance apart. So we're gonna balance next. So if you wanna come off your mat, you can shift. We'll start by standing in the right foot and just pick up the left foot, cross your left shin over your right shin. So your left big toe is on the floor on the outside of your right foot. Okay, arms could be wide. 
your breathing, resting your gaze on a spot on the floor in front of you. So ways to make this more challenging if you want to, you could lift the left foot up. So you can actually slide that left foot or left shin up the right leg as high as you'd like to. The standing leg, your right knee is a little bit soft. Okay, and then you might try changing your arm position. So you could lift arms or maybe you wanna lower them a little. Okay, keep breathing. And then relax. So arms relax, left foot steps back to the floor. Both feet are on the ground for a moment. Let go there. And then stand in your left leg. Cross your right shin over your left. So right big toe is on the floor on the outside of the left foot. Standing tall. And keep breathing. If you like, lift the right foot up. So you could lift it just a little. You can lift it higher if you want to. Okay, arms could stay wide or they could lift or they could lower. Just following what feels right for you today. Okay, relax the arms, relax the right leg. You can come on back to your mat if you stepped off your mat. You can walk your feet out gently. Okay, and then we're up at the top of our mat and we're going to come next into warrior one. So stepping back with your left foot, we're gonna land with our feet on separate railway tracks. Left thigh is a little bit turned outward, foot is flat. Okay. Let your arms come up in front of you. So your palms and forearms are facing each other or they're right together. And then we're gonna bend the front knee and open up the elbows. This is our inhale. So you can take a breath in. And then as you exhale, straighten the right knee and bring the forearms and palms as close together as you can. So inhale and open, shoulders low. And exhale, straighten the knee gently, guiding those forearms and palms as close as they can come. Open up, breathing in, and then breathing out. Okay, breathe, relax your arms. They can come behind your back. And they can just rest behind your back uh, with fingers interlaced, or you could rest your hands at your hips. So from here, bend your front knee again. So that right knee bends. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the mat so you can see. Okay, so we've got the right knee bent, and then we're just gonna tilt the pelvis and bring the front of the body forward. So just lean forward, press the back foot into the floor. Let your back feel long. So we haven't rounded the back, right? We've just tilted forward. Shoulders are resting back. Feel the soles of your feet on the floor. Press down through that front heel and lift yourself back up. Okay, relax your arms, step your back foot forward. So you land back up at the top of your mat. We'll switch feet. So left foot stays, right foot takes a step back. Okay. Both feet are flat. Okay. Let your elbows bend this time beside you. So your palms are facing each other. Okay. We're going to inhale and let the knee bend and just lift the elbows up so that they're in line with your shoulders or a little lower. Okay. And then exhale and straighten the knee and slide the arms close into the sides of your body. So inhale, bend the knee, lift the arms, and exhale, straighten the knee, tuck the arms in. Inhale and lift, sinking into your legs. Exhale and tuck, do one more. So inhale, and then exhale. Okay, relax the arms, bring them back behind you, interlace your fingers, if you like, hands could stay at hips. Bend the front knee, so the left knee bends. So you could stay here. You could stay here and sink into your legs and feel your feet. And if you like to tip, you can tilt the pelvis forward. So we just lean forward so that our back is a long line with that back leg. And we're breathing. 
Press through your front heel and lift yourself back up. You can relax your arms. We're gonna turn here to face the long edge of our mat. So you can just pivot yourself around so that your feet are on a balance beam and they're gently wide. Okay, feet are parallel to each other. And can you give your shoulders another roll here? They can move at the same time. They can move at different times. Let the arms rest. Give your head a turn to the left side and then a turn to the right, over to your right shoulder. Come back to the center and then we'll tip the head to the left. So ear towards the shoulder. Just the weight of your head, arms resting easy. Come through the middle, head falls to the right. Breathing here. Head back to the center. Thigh bones are gonna turn outward. So knees and toes are pointing out. Hands rest on the legs, sink down into your squat. I'm just dropping down. Okay, so we didn't lean forward. We just went straight down. Okay, straighten your knees. And if you like, lift your arms. So this is the position we're gonna exhale into. And then we're gonna inhale and we're gonna come back to the squat and we're gonna let the arms come down. And we're gonna exhale and press down through the heels and lift up to where we're standing tall. You choose how high the arms come. Inhale and sink into your squat. Exhale, press down and slowly lift up, reach up. Do two more. So inhale and drop. And exhale and rise and reach. One more. Sinking down and then lifting up, stretching up tall. Relax the arms. You can step your feet together. You can turn and face forward on your mat. Okay, we're going to make our way uh, down. So we'll come through our little chair pose here. So you can let your hands rest at the sides of the pelvis. You know, Hug your tummy in, sink back into your heels. So drop your seat back as if you're sitting in a chair. Bring your forearms to your thighs. Knees are bent lots. You can rest here. This is a half fold. And if you want to tip over gently, keep your knees bent, listen to your body. Rest your hands on something, the floor or the blocks or your legs. Lower yourself down from here into table pose. So you can bring your hands down, take one knee back, and then the other knee back. Okay, from table, we'll come into a half a squat. So take your right foot, step a, a step forward and a step wide. So your knee and toes are angled outward, not forward in a lunge, but outward into a half squat. Sink here. So you can use your block if you like for your arms or you could bring your forearms down to the floor. We're just sinking to the inner thigh. And then we're gonna come up. So walk yourself all the way up so that you're standing on that left knee, lifting the left arm up to the ceiling, tipping to the right side. So you can lean into that right arm which can rest on the right leg and come into a nice side bend to the right. Opening up the left side and then lift back to vertical. Relaxing arms will turn now to the right. Think of taking your rib cage and turning it towards that right leg. And just let your arms rest somewhere where they comfortably land. So we're tall. Hey, maybe you'd like to turn your head a little more to the right. And if you just want to keep your nose in line with your sternum, that's another choice. Just listening to your body, unwind your head, unwind your heart, bring your hands back down to the floor. So we're back inside the right leg where you get another chance to sink if you want to. And then straighten out the elbows and switch legs. So step your right knee down to the floor so you're in table pose and then step your left foot forward and wide step. 
Okay, just rest here for a moment. Soften the elbows, sink if you can. Okay, slowly make your way up. So straightening elbows and then all the way up so that you're vertical. Right arm lifts and tip to the left so you can rest your left arm into your leg. Open up the right side of the body. Let go. And from neutral, turn to the left. So you're taking your rib cage and you're turning towards that left side and just letting your hands land where they easily land. So you don't have to reach and you don't have to pull with the arms into the twist. Just easy resting arms. There's an invitation or an opportunity if you like to turn the head to the left side. Unwind the head, unwind the heart and fold back down. So bring your hands back down, bending the elbows if you want a little sink down towards the floor. Come back to table pose. From table, we're gonna come into child's pose. So you can choose, you could have wide knees, so big toes together, knees wide, seat going back, that would give you a little more stretch in your inner thighs. Or if it feels better, just to keep your legs closer in and to take your seat back from there, you can do that. So either way, we want to be able to rest though. Even resting the head, so supporting the head. So the head might come to the floor or your hands, or your hands could come up to your head. Feeling your breath. Just a gentle breath in through the nose and out through the nose. When you're ready, come down to your back. You're welcome to put something underneath your head if you like on the floor. Like a pillow or a cushion. Okay, give your knees a hug in. And then we'll come to our butterfly pose. So the knees are gonna come wide, the bottoms of the feet are coming together and you can reach down with your hands and you can hold your shins. So soles of the feet are together, knees are wide. Okay, we're gonna let the left foot come to the floor. So you could stay here with the right leg, just holding the right shin so the heel is dropping towards your sitting bone. Or you could open up the right knee, which brings you into half of your happy baby pose. So you could hold the shin or hold the foot. So either way, the right thigh is wide, whether you've got the heel down or the foot up. Relaxing eyes and jaw and shoulders. Okay, come back to the butterfly. So let the right heel drop. Lift up the left leg. Bring the bottoms of the feet back together. Hold the shins. So uh, back of the pelvis is on the floor. And we'll switch legs. So bring your right foot down. You can stay here. Just letting that left knee be wide. Or you can open up the knee so that the bottom of the foot faces the ceiling. You can keep holding the shin or the left toe or the left foot. Relax your shoulders, the belly, the hips. And you feel your breath. Come back to butterfly. So drop the heel, lift the right foot back up. So the bottoms of the feet come back together. Knees are wide. So pelvis is on the floor. So we're not curling in yet. So from here, 
Bring the knees in. So inner thighs come in towards each other and then put the left foot down so you've got the right leg. Give the right knee a hug in. Relax your back, your belly. Breathe easy. We'll send the right foot towards the ceiling. So extend up through the knee and then let the knee bend. So keep the right thigh where it is, straighten the knee and then let the knee bend. One more time, straighten the right knee, reaching up through the heel, stay here. So if you want to, you could hold behind the leg, relax your back. You could move the foot around the ankle as well if you want to. Let go of the leg, so rest your arms, but let the right leg lower so it's straight. You're going to hover it just above the floor. If you like, right arm is going to lift and come up alongside the right ear. If you just want to do the leg or just the arm, that's fine. So hover arm and leg, reach them so there's a little squeeze in the leg, reaching through the arm, and then rest them. So let the right leg come down and the right arm get some support, even if that means you've bent the elbow. Okay, bring the right arm in and the right foot back to the floor. So we're back at neutral. Coming into the left side, pick up the left knee, give it a hug. Relax your back. Slow, easy breaths. Okay, let go of the leg, send the left foot to the ceiling. So thigh is staying where it is, bend the left knee. And then reach up through the heel. We're straightening up through the legs so that we're stretching out the back of the leg. Bend the knee and then reach. One more time, bend and reach. Stay here, you can hold behind the leg or not. If you don't feel like holding the leg, you don't have to. Move the foot around the ankle, easy shoulders, relax your back. You let go of the left leg with the hands, see if you can keep the knee straight, lower it down so it's hovering above the floor. And if you like, add the left arm, which will come up alongside the ear, and then you can just stretch right or left hand all the way down to the left foot, whole left side. Bring that arm and leg down to the floor. Even if it means the left elbow is bending and the hand is on the mat. Okay. And then add the right leg and the right arm. So stretch your whole body, fingers to toes, arms and legs all through the middle of you. And then relax, bring your arms back below your shoulders. You might like to put your feet on the floor. Rest your knees together. Okay, maybe it would feel good to turn your head to one side. And then to the other side. Relaxing your shoulders. Okay, head back to the center. Just feel how you feel. Then come on into whatever position you'd like to relax in. So you're welcome to stay, either with your feet on the floor or a block under the knees. Or if it's okay to put the legs down, you could put the legs down. Something under your neck. If you prefer to relax on your side, you can. Or you could try child's pose. Okay. A position that you can rest in some place that you feel comfortable and where your body feels comfortable to be still and we can just rest into this stillness. So at any point, if you need to give your body more support so that it can relax, feel like you can do that. 
Okay, soften your body from the outside inward. So feel like you relax your whole outer layer of skin. And then you get to come inward through those layers of muscle and connective tissues and tendons. All the way into your bones. And then keep coming in. Inner organs get to soften. Sensory organs get to rest. Whole body. Letting go, just allowing the ground to support you. Could you feel your breath as it comes and goes? So hopefully we're breathing through the nose if we can. And breath is moving in and moving out all on its own. And it might be quite gentle here. It might be quite subtle. You allow yourself to be breathed by your breath. We're not doing the breathing, we're letting the breath happen to us. And anytime you notice effort or tension, you could let it go. Surrendering to the still and the quiet. If you want a place to rest your mind, just let it rest on the breath or on the body. Sensations that are moving through the body. So let go of thinking. And just feel this moment yourself in this moment. You are welcome to stay here for as long as you like. When you are wanting to move, you might start with hands and feet. Just taking your time. You might pick up one leg and then the other leg and give your legs a little hug and a rock. You might roll to your side, just rest on your side for a breath or two or three. Take your time. If you're wanting to come back with me, you're going to come back up to sitting or kneeling, just in some way vertical. And just finding that tall, easy, vertical posture. Make yourself just sort of one last check in to notice how you are. 
bringing your hands to your heart if you like. And when you're ready, head back into your day. Thank you for practicing today. Namaste.